Hi, I'm Kobe, I'm an osteopath, and I would like to try and help you discover if we can help to ease your sciatica a little bit with some very basic, simple exercises. So you've got sciatica, and you would like to try some exercises to help you relieve that pain. The first thing, the very first thing that you need to understand is that sciatica is not a diagnosis, it's a symptom. It basically means pain down the sciatic nerve. You need to find out what is causing that pain. That's what we call a diagnosis. What is pressing on that sciatic nerve causing it to hurt? Is it arthritis? Do you have a bony spur irritating that nerve? Do you have a disc bulge hitting the nerve? Or do you have one of the more common causes, which is piriformis syndrome, which is where in 5% of the population, the sciatic nerve actually passes right through the middle of this tiny little muscle called the piriformis muscle, which sits in the middle of the buttock. That can cause excruciating amount of pain. Or sometimes just, and this is the two conditions that I can help you with now, sometimes just having really tight gluteal muscles can just irritate the sciatic nerve. So piriformis syndrome and very tight gluteal muscles are the two conditions that I am going to address now because they are the ones that will respond very, very quickly to these exercises. If you have other causes of sciatica, you need to take other courses of action. And there will be exercises that will help you, but they will be different and very specific to your condition. So first of all, please don't do these exercises until you have an absolute diagnosis from an osteopath or a physio or a GP for your sciatica. So the exercises that I'm going to teach you in this video are basically going to stretch out the gluteal muscles, maximus and medius, and the piriformis muscle. So that's my entire goal for these exercises, and that should give you some really great fast pain relief. Okay, so let's start off by in this position on your knees if you can, and then just reach forward if you can. Bring your weight over your wrists, and I'd like you just to bring that right knee forward between your hands and shuffle that back leg back slightly. Now you can bring, if possible, just bring that right foot in and drop over to sit on that right hip. That's fantastic. So in this position you're getting a lovely stretch through the piriformis muscle, through the uh, gluteal muscle and also through the hamstring a little bit. If you want to increase this stretch you can just come forward onto your elbows here and just rest there. That's great, just really enjoy that stretch. Rest your chest on your thigh. Well done. If you can't, if you can't rock onto your hip like this, you can um, just stay here with your heel under your thigh and just rock forward there. Even that is a very strong stretch and it will get very good results for you. When you're done with that, just bring your hands under your shoulders and carry the whole of your weight with your, with your arms and hands, and then just bring that right knee back to meet the left, dropping back into a child posture. That's lovely, just relax. Deep breath in, deep breath out, just relax. Okay, bring the weight forward again over the wrists, and we're just going to do that to the opposite direction, so just bring that left knee forward. If you can only manage this, keep the heel where it is, under the thigh, otherwise just drop the foot to the right slightly and drop your weight over to that left hip. That's great, and just you can just rock around there, releasing the glute muscles and the piriformis muscles. If you want to extend it again, just come forward onto your forearms, onto your elbows and just rest there. Just rest there for a few breaths as long as it's comfortable. If you know that your diagnosis is definitely piriformis syndrome or tight gluteal muscles, then don't be scared of any pain that you might experience while you're doing this movement because it's just the muscles uh, complaining a little bit and starting to release, but they really, really need to move and they need to lengthen. Okay, bring your hands onto the floor and gently walk yourself up to a sitting position and bring that knee back to meet the right knee as you drop the hips back onto the heels. Rest the head onto the floor. 
Take a couple of deep breaths as you continue just to relax the whole body. And when you're ready, just taking your weight through your hands, bring yourself back up to a seated, seated position. This next exercise is a very commonly known exercise, but hopefully because it's coming from me as an osteopath to you with a diagnosis of piriformis syndrome, you will trust it and feel safe enough to do this exercise. It's fantastic for stretching out the piriformis muscle. So starting lying on your back, keep your weight evenly distributed on your pelvis. Just raise that left foot from the floor, place the ankle on the right knee. Pass your hands underneath that left leg and take hold of the right thigh and just draw that right knee towards you. Ah, I can hear you screaming already. Yes, this is a very, very sore exercise, but very, very effective and well worth doing. So just gently continue to breathe naturally and gently with ease and calm. You may find that a few deep breaths will help you. So deep breath in, and as you exhale, just gently draw that right knee towards your chest. That's lovely. You'll feel the pain down the back of the leg here, of this bent leg, and down into the gluteal and into the piriformis. That's fantastic. Okay, when you're ready, just release those legs and switch them over. So take hold of that left thigh underneath the right leg, and draw that left knee towards your chest. No need to overdo this, just do it gently with, uh, within your own limits. If you want to increase the neural stretch, you can just raise your head a little bit towards your knee as well. That will increase the stretch through the spinal cord and the sciatic nerve. That might be a bit too strong for your neck. So really to get into piriformis, just this position is very strong in itself and will be very good at releasing. When you're ready, just release those feet back to the floor. Just release one leg flat onto the floor, keep the opposite leg bent. I'm going to keep my right leg bent and then take hold of that right knee and I want you to draw that right knee up towards the left shoulder. So you just draw it up there. You're going to get right down into the glute and the piriformis here. So do just hold that as long as you can. Again, inhale, and on the exhalation, you draw that knee down towards the shoulder. Try to keep the whole of your upper back relaxed. Keep your, all your legs relaxed and your low back relaxed. It's very easy when you're doing an exercise like this and you're in a lot of pain to lock up and tighten the whole body and you don't even realize that you're doing it but it can greatly inhibit the uh, stretch effect that we're trying to have through that one little muscle. So just try to make sure that with each exhalation, you really become aware of your whole body and just relax your whole body. Okay, and just release there. Just switch those legs over to take hold of that left knee and draw that left knee up towards the right shoulder. That's it, on the exhalation. Be kind to your body, work with it, understand that it's taken many years to get your piriformis and your gluteals this tight. It will take time for them to release. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen if you practice these exercises regularly. And release that leg back down to the floor. So these exercises are very targeted to the piriformis muscle and to the gluteals and will therefore be very effective at releasing uh, sciatica that is as a result of tension through those muscles. If you find that these exercises don't relieve your pain even a little bit, then I recommend that you go and see a manual therapist and you get a proper diagnosis and make sure that you really do know what you're dealing with.